Yo, you alright? Tell me if you're alright in the comments section below. <laughs> Just released a new track. It's called Catchphrase. You can hear it on my YouTube channel. It's the most recently uploaded thing before this. And it's also available on all streaming platforms, whichever one you like to use. You can find it there. I'll put a link in the description. I have a second new song coming very, very soon. And I'm currently rolling out my new album, If You See A Blur. That's the title of the album and uh, man, I just want to talk about it. I'm just going to have a little chat with you about my music. If you don't care about my music, go ahead and do something else with your with your day. <laughs> but if you do, I love you. Thank you. And um, yeah, I've just been sort of trying to wrap my head around this album for a long time now. This has been a, <laughs> a very difficult process. This album has been really hard. I, and I don't really know if I've nailed it or not at this point because this album has been in the making now for like a year and a half plus this for me this for me is the lo is a long time to be working on one album you know because coruscate rekindle um yo like that came out like bang 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 it was like six months between each project like um yo was was honestly um yo was easy to make <laughs> well it felt easy it, like it just poured out of me really effortlessly this album Man, I don't know, it was, it was difficult, man. This was not as easy. Just spending time working out what the identity, what the next direction is coming off of like an album that big and high definition and, you know, just stacked with like pretty catchy moments. I was like, what's the next move? Like, I want to do something that feels like it's an evolution and like, you know, something new. And I definitely think I achieved that. That for sure. This album is not like Amyo. Um, it's very different. It's a lot more harsh, <laughs> abrasive. Um, I, I really try to zone in on the things that I do when I make beats that I just don't hear other people do. Like my, my quirks. I guess I try to work out what that is. Like what are my individual little, you know, tricks and stuff. And I try to really hone in, zone in on, on that and just, um, I don't know, make an album that I truly feel like only I could come up with. <laughs> That's what the thesis was for this album and how I defined that thesis changed as well for quite a few of the many iterations this album's been through. At one point, this was like the catchiest one. You know, actually I recently saw some people, some friends of mine, shout out to Joey, Animus the Nerd, shout out to my boy Mike. And we were talking about my, my album. It came up in conversation and uh, and I said like, yeah, it's like the catchiest one, like a big emphasis on like grooves and bass lines. It's like a nice trim, 12 tracks. And actually now the album that is coming out is not that album, it, it changed because I went back and heard some of the older demos I was working on at the beginning of this album cycle and they were much more experimental and harsh and crazy. And I was like, nah, I kind of like this stuff a little bit now. Like I was kind of torn, I was like, shit man. Do I make this like a full on groovy, catchy singles album? Or do I make this like this, this weird, crazy, monstrous album? And I kind of tried to find a way to sort of bridge the two into like one, you know, great product that sort of is the best of both worlds. And figuring out that track list has been really annoying, but I've, I've got it figured out now. Yeah, I, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of taking what feels like a bit of a gamble with this one. Like, I'm um, yo, I was, I was nervous, mostly because of how long it was. I was, I was confident in the songs themselves. I was like, the songs on I'm um, yo are like pretty consistently sick in my opinion. But yeah, as an album, I was like, it's a little bit long. Maybe that will be a turn off. But with this album, it's the opposite. It's a short album. <laughs> I, I think it has my most, um, <laughs> yeah, I don't know, daring <laughs> tracks on it. Out of any of my albums, yeah, there are some tracks on it that are just fucking strange. I don't really know if they're going to sound pleasing to the ear, to, <laughs> to anyone but me. But we'll give them a go. We'll just give it a go. It feels like a bit more of a gamble and that's exciting. It's also a little bit scary. Making this album has made me appreciate more than any other one of my albums that all the shit we listen to, the music that comes out, the electronic music, the pop music, like, man, like, these producers, these engineers, bro, like, <laughs> they, they know their shit, man, like, this shit is difficult. Making music is difficult, bro. And uh, this album was like a reminder, like, yeah, this is actually hard. <laughs> this album, I was more trying to really perfect it and make it all fit into this vision I had, you know? And in the process of doing that, I, I kind of ran into the more of the typical roadblocks. 
<laughs> it made me realize like dude this these producers that we all love and look up to man like they are they are actual wizards with it bro because man like they make it look easy you know but yeah i do feel like i have the finished product ready to go and i look at it and i think you know what this is a cool body of work it's so weird like a month ago i was like oh yeah this is my most accessible album like well, just a month ago and and the track list has, has changed like dramatically since then. And now I'm like, dude, this is the least. <laughs> I don't know, bro. We'll just have to we'll just have to drop it so I can move on from this. <laughs> and hopefully you guys enjoy the record. <laughs> but if you don't, fair enough. I get it. We'll get it next time. <laughs> as far as content, man, it's so annoying. Like I love making content. Like I really enjoy it, but I don't have like the stamina for it. Like I can't just keep doing it and like I guess my brain, my my personality, mental stamina, mental health. It can only sort of like ride the content wave for so long before it just becomes not enjoyable. But then it comes back and it's like, man, this is so frustrating because I want to drop videos more often and stuff. And I want to do TikToks more. I, I enjoy making videos and just like sharing my opinions on stuff. It's fun, it's fun, it is. But I guess like, I guess when you do it really consistently, it's sort of the things you consume, you end up sort of trying to channel it into like content potential. And at a certain point you want to just sort of shut that side of things off and just 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 chill and enjoy yourself and like reconnect with the, with the things you love and i don't know it's like a whole it's a whole like internal battle for me bro i find it difficult i have got a video that i should have really uploaded by now but the raw footage came out so huge it was like 11 gigabytes i was like what the hell man so editing it is such a mission but i was supposed to have got that up like weeks ago but it's a video about games that I have uh, recorded and have mostly edited. I just got to finish it up. But yeah, it's just the the, the, the project file is just such a nightmare. Um, but yeah, we'll get that hopefully up soon. For now though, my primary focus is the music and this album. Please go support the new track if you haven't heard it yet. Go hear it if you've heard it already. Thank you, go hear it again. <laughs> Tell your friends about it, add it to your playlists. And check out my new website. Veilsmith.com is an our website. It has my music on it that you can stream and download and buy if you want. You can also check out a secret song, which is getting routinely updated every now and again. So it's worth revisiting that website to see what the song is. I've been changing it a few times. There will also be a live stream coming very soon on YouTube where I will be playing some songs for you in the form of a sort of DIY Veilsmith live show. We're gonna test some wars. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll um, you know, announce it on YouTube and on my socials. I'm not on Twitter anymore, by the way, because come on, why? <laughs> you can follow me on TikTok uh, and on Instagram. Please do. I will be regularly live on both, I hope. Instagram for sure. Anyway, thank you all for listening to me ramble about my creative endeavors. I hope you guys are excited about the new music and I hope you guys have enjoyed Catchphrase. Yeah, hopefully this album goes down well. <laughs>